it's important it always is. Um, and even now with the way the landscape is with, with Brexit, COVID, everything else, then you know, we've got to maximise what we have in-house as well. You know, Connor's one who, you know, you'll have seen yourself several times this season, um, who's one who's been around the first team for long enough now. Uh, and to be honest, he earned, he earned his opportunity to, to play through his training and how he was progressing. Uh, and as I say, the opportunity is good for young players to show themselves. Now there's uh, areas of Connor's game when he did well. Uh, and he'll be the first to admit there's areas of the game, you know, especially in, in certain games where, um, it has to be better, you know, and, and for a young player, especially a goalkeeper where, you know, making a mistake is very much highlighted. Um, it's dealing with not just the talent he's got, but it's pressure situations. So how do you how do you deal with a setback? You know, uh, looking at Connor's game, very talented player, uh, goalkeeper who, you know, we hope has a very bright future here. Um, for him, again, psychologically, OK, you make a bad decision, you make a mistake, what next? Uh, things I've seen with Connor is very much that it hangs over him for too long. One decision, one bad decision can become two, as minor as it might be. Um, so again, it's how you address that uh, and just resetting. Knowing you made a mistake, accept that, acknowledge it, but again, reflecting on, right, okay, what makes a good performance for me and get back on that. So for Connor, he's a good player, um, one we have high hopes for. You know, delighted he's, he's committed for the next couple of years uh, and hopefully continue to progress the way we, we want him to.